Welcome to another Positively Incorrect. This is Scott Cluthy. Great to have you with us today, and you're going to really enjoy today's show. What do the Houston Astros and the Houston Texans have in common? They both have my guest today, Dr. Dana Harper of Harper Wellness and Rehab Center here in Houston as the team chiropractor. Also, later in this edition of Positively Incorrect, another social commentary from our resident know-it-all who never tells us what he really knows, Seymour Foxhole. So it's best advised to stick around for that later. Uh, Dr. Harper, it is great to see you again. Great to be here, Scott. Well, it's a pleasure, really mine. With over 25 years in the field of chiropractic, Dr. Dana Harper brings his experience of neuromusculoskeletal problems to a multidisciplinary practice of natural health care. He's a certified as a chiropractic sports practitioner, and as I mentioned, Dr. Harper serves as the team chiropractor for both the Houston Astros and the Houston Texans, and is contracted to work with the players weekly during the season. Now, you can find him on the sidelines at every Houston Texans home game, including, unfortunately, the last one. Now, he also travels as one of the team doctors to the Astros Spring Training in Kissimmee, Florida, and was chosen as the chiropractor to treat the NFL Carolina Panthers during Super Bowl 35. Well, that must be quite an honor, Dr. Harper, to work with these world-class athletes. Well, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. But, um, you know, I don't find it much different than working on my everyday patients, too. It's, there's a lot of similarities, actually. Well, you know, I can testify to the quality of your work because you've taken care of my spine for a number of years. But there must be special considerations with the athletes as far as educating them about chiropractic, and that's one of the things we talked about before the show. There's still a lot of myths out there about chiropractic, isn't there? Uh, unfortunately, yes, and it's really just lack of knowledge. Uh, most people who've been to chiropractors, uh, especially reputable chiropractors, and most of us are, I would, I would say, uh, have, uh, have very positive experiences, and we, uh, we've done surveys and showed that that most people are very happy with their chiropractors and their chiropractic experience. And, uh, and we cover, we, we do a lot to help people in a lot of different ways. Well, now, uh, Harper Wellness and Rehab uh, Center is much more than just chiropractic, though, isn't it? Well, we, we use a, uh, uh, like you said in your introduction, a multidisciplinary approach. So. We actually uh, have a physical therapist in our office. We have a medical practitioner in our office. Uh, we have um, different modes of treatment, a, a non-surgical spinal decompression. We use acupuncture. We use uh, physical therapy modalities, exercise. Uh, we, we try to bring in as much as we can because we know uh, not everybody responds to the same things, but the more we can utilize different approaches, uh, we have a better chance of helping people. And we want to talk about some of those different areas of expertise that are available at Harper uh, uh, Wellness and Rehab Center. And, and you're right over there in the Post Oak area, right now off the Galleria. So that's convenient for people in Houston. But I do want to talk about the Texans and the Astros a little bit, because I think our viewers will be fascinated. So we'll come back and talk about that. It is your host, Scott Cluthy, another edition of Positively Incorrect. Stay with me, won't you? Well, welcome back. It is Positively Incorrect. Your host, Scott Cluthy, right here. And uh, great to have you joining me today, a very special guest. He is the team chiropractic for the Houston Astros and the Houston Texans, and uh, Dr. Dana Harper. Uh, Dana, great to have you on the show today. Yeah, I want to talk about, because I know listeners, uh, viewers are, are fascinated about this idea of working with professional athletes. And, you know, you said earlier that it's not that much different, but certainly it must be different when you think about the kind of physiques you're dealing with, right? Oh, well, that's true, yes. When you're talking about a football player, 330 pound lineman for the Houston Texans, it, it, there's uh, definitely some differences there <laughs> as far bet. as working with a, a, a person that size, yes. Um, you know, when I first started with, with the team, I, I had some challenges, you know, dealing with a, a big player like that, and it was, uh, it was kind of at first uh, 
a very a little bit intimidating for me because I, I work typically with just average size people and when I started with them I had to actually learn how to do my treatments a little bit differently so as not to actually injure myself in the process. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Don't injure yourself on a linebacker, right? Yeah, exactly. For the wrong reason. Exactly. <laughs> That's pretty good. But uh, I learned, actually I learned on the job in that case and uh, and it's gotten where it's not, doesn't take a toll on me like it did. But but yeah, there's there's different, a little bit different finesse techniques you have to use with somebody that large. And But uh, but it's it's worked out real well for me. Well, you've worked with, the, I mean, the major sports icons for a lot of people in Houston. Jeff Bagwell? Yes. You worked with Craig Biggio? Well, or I, <laughs> I worked with the sports teams. I can't, I can't. You can't I talk can't about talk who about you names. worked on, yeah. so I can't yeah. pop Andre Johnson on you. I, I can just <laughs> say that my, my, I am the team chiropractor for both those teams, and, and being the team chiropractor, I have a, uh, have definitely um, okay. had access to many players. And very, very many nice autographed pictures from some of the people we're talking about on the walls of your clinic, I might mention. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right? You're right. Truth right, to be told. Yeah, right. So how is it different working in the field? I mean, you've got a beautiful facility. I come there quite often. You have the traction tape, all these things. But what about in the field? What do you do? Uh, do they have all the same equipment there? Or how do you leverage those big bodies when you're working at a football stadium? Well, I, I've actually got my, have my own equipment there. So uh, that's, that's a requirement. I can't do my job without the right tool. So yes, I have similar equipment out there. And yet uh, I do one part of the care there. Uh, there's trainers, there's physical therapists other people doing you're part of the team i'm part of I the understand. team i'm just one actually one cog of of many and and i do my part and everybody does their other parts have you seen much turnaround in particularly in the athletes about well chiropractic or whatever and then like hey doc when can i come see you have you had some of those experiences with people ahas about chiropractic well, yes. I mean, is when people first experience it, you know, that sometimes they're they've never had it before. They're curious. They want to try it. They have a they have a problem. Maybe the trainer will say, "Hey, why don't you see Dr. Harper? Uh, he could probably help you with that." And then they're they you see they they kind of they light up. They actually notice they really a change and they get it and they come Correct. back. Well, we're going to come back right after this break with Dr. Dana Harper from the Harper Wellness and Rehab Center, 4544 Post Oak Place. Your host, Scott Cluthy with Positively Incorrect TV. Stay with us, won't you? Welcome back, Positively Incorrect, with your host, Scott Cluthy. It is great to have you with me, and my very special guest today is Dr. Dana Harper, uh, a chiropractor who's been in Houston now. How long has your practice been open, Dana? 26 years. Really? Yeah. What brought you, I always want to know people's stories, what brought you to chiropractic? What, was there a turning point? Was there an event, or was it just a desire? Well, I actually had a... Uh, Actually, sports injuries growing up, I had uh, some back issues of my own. I got to a point where I was, was, wasn't being helped by the, uh, the regular medical route that, that I was taking. And right. I, I eventually ended up in a chiropractor's office because it was just somebody said to, and I had tried everything else. And I got great results, and I was impressed, and I was blown away. And I thought, man, this is something I need to do and learn about. And eventually become you know we are I I believe this I, I we are so over medicated we just it's the band-aid isn't it we put a band-aid on the break as it were and expect it to go away and it covers for a while but it always comes back and and the thing about what I notice about my body and Dana even you working on over the years is that um, the body also adjusts in sometimes the wrong way, trying to make up for what we're trying to avoid. Is that right? Yes, the body is a beautiful adapt adapter. It will adapt to all kinds of issues and problems that you have as you grow up and have different things happen to you. And eventually the body will break down because it can't adapt forever. 
And chiropractic is great because it actually can get to the root cause. It can go back through some of those adaptations of your body, your spine, your joints, certain muscle patterns that you have adapted to. And eventually, with a good chiropractic program, you're able to retrace back through many of those adaptations. And people feel younger, better. Their outlook is better. They just feel sharper. They're functioning better. It just, it's just a, it's a great thing. But doesn't that have to do with getting our natural energy, our electrical circuitry, if you will, put together again, not having those breaks literally in the circuit of our, 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 our life force? That, well, exactly. That's a part of, of what, we, what, what some of the philosophy of chiropractic, uh, along with the neuroscience of it, is, is uh, your body spends a lot of energy in this adaptation process and and so instead of energy going out to to function in your world in a normal matter it's putting a lot of energy to just deal with everyday kind things. Trying to maintain trying to maintain just being naturally fluid. Right so as as we okay. release a lot of the tension and stress in these adaptations uh, your energy level usually improves, your digestion can improve, your your outlook, your your um, your awareness, your, your attitude, all these things can change just because you feel better. Your body's not spending a lot of energy trying to deal with these adaptations. And of course your sex life, right? Tell me. Well, Tell me I, now, Dana. I'm not going to discount that, <laughs> no sir. <laughs> we know that's not important, of course. But <laughs> so we're going to talk more about all the great things going on at the uh, Harper Wellness uh, and, and Rehab Clinic. And I, 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 I'm so glad you're watching today. It's, it's Positively Correct TV. And, oh, you can connect with them online at harperwellness.com. Simple as that. And connect with Scott Cluthy at scottcluthy.com. C-L-U-T-H-E. Stay with us. We'll be right back, okay?